Uh, so, Rob, I just have to ask, you know, is this sort of been a surreal experience for you? You know, you were at the premiere last night watching this unfold on the big screen. You're sitting next to Mark Ruffalo, who plays you in the film. Right. What has this been like the last year or two? Well, I think that's the perfect word, surreal. <laughs> it's, it's, it, was, it was bizarre, uh, you know, but it was also a great experience. I mean, these were, I think, some of the best people I could ever think of that put this project together and did it in, in the right way, you know, and, and really involved the people that were involved in the story, in the community, and even filmed it in, in a lot of the places where this occurred, in Cincinnati, and just did a fantastic job. And I, I couldn't really, I couldn't be happier with, with the team that was put together because they, they did a fantastic job. Mark, I know this was a passion project for you for a while. You shepherded it, and um, what was it about? I mean, obviously, the the grave importance of this subject is is kind of mind blowing. But um, did you kind of know when you first read that article that this was something you wanted to be a part of? Yeah, absolutely. And it was funny. I had a lot of my friends actually send it to me <laughs> over the course of the next few days, um, and uh, but but I. I was I was completely floored by the by the article by Nathaniel Rich and I thought you know this can make a great story because not only is it um, a whistleblower and not only is it one of the greatest crimes and cover-ups in you know, United States history but it also has a, a thriller element it has it has a horror element it 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 could be a really popular popular film but also a true story and that's rare um, to find uh, harder to pull off um, but I just I also felt like we were ready to have this kind of movie uh, at this time you know I felt it was like important how much time did you get to spend with Rob and you know when you're developing your performance you know how much of, of him is in there and how much is it you trying to also make it your own character? Uh, I stole a lot from him. <laughs> I apologize because I, I, he's much more handsome than I play him. <laughs> but, um, you know, we spent a lot of time together. And um, I, you know, I was... I was I I depositioned him, you mm -hmm. know. I don't I don't think he was used to, uh, and I came on pretty strong, pretty quick. I think it was a little <laughs> overwhelming, but um, I just wanted to be as honest as I could to him in, in every way, and um, you know. So you're juggling. You're like you want things to be fresh. You're not doing an impression, you know. You're you still want it to be alive and feel real and immediate and like it's happening. So that's that's the dance you're doing as an actor when you're playing a, a real and great human being. When you're watching the film, um, Sorry. and you're watching Mark's performance and the the events dramatized, are you are you seeing it like? Again, that word surreal, is it like that is how it happened all those years ago? Yeah, you know, and I'll tell you, you know, there are parts of the film that still make me emotional watching them, particularly with Mr. Tennant, you know, back on the farm and seeing what was happening with the animals, seeing what the, the, some of the families were going through as this case was languishing on and the community was putting pressure on them and what was going on within our, our law firm. So, I mean, that really captured the, the mood and the spirit of what was going on, I think, really well. I mean, Todd Haynes did a tremendous job doing that. In a way, does this feel like a chapter closing uh, on this story, or is it always going to be an ongoing mm -hmm. part of your life? You know, I, I almost feel like it's opening. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's really getting this out to the point where I th I'm hoping that we'll, it'll allow things to finally close and that people will finally see... You know, that this contamination is occurring, that this is still happening, and that there are things we can do, um, you know, to, to stop it and protect ourselves from it um, once we know about it, once we're aware that's happening. At DuPont, better living through chemistry. It's our DNA. You need to tell me what in the hell's going on. DuPont is knowingly poisoning 70,000 local residents for the last 40 years. You knew, still you did nothing. You want to flush your career down the toilet for some cow hand? You want to take everything that you know and turn it against an iconic American company like an informant. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yes. 
They have all the money, all the firepower, and they'll use it. I know. I was one of them. Our government is captive to DuPont. They're trying to force you to make me stop. He was willing to risk his job, his family, for a stranger who needed his help. The system is rigged. They want us to think it'll protect us. protect us. We do.